What's up everybody, today I'm going to show you how to put undercoat in the fenders of the car, of your car. As you can see, I pull out the strut because my strut mount broke. I have a video already on how to change this, I'm going to leave it right here. So yes, I'm going to show you how to undercoat this part of the car. Okay, now I'm going to clean all this with the greaser. But first, I take out the plastic over here or the fender well to clean it. And I'm going to show you how you can remove the plastic here in the other side and this part right here. So to take out this plastic, we need to take out this bolt right here and all the clips that are inside. This one right here there <coughs> here and all this part right here this one this one right here this one this one this one and to take out this part you need only to take out these two bolts and that's it so i know that i first said that i'm going to do with a pressure washer but now I'm going first I'm going to do with a uh, degreaser and with no more pressure of the hose and then I'm going to do with the uh, uh, pressure washer I'm going to show you the other side that I just did as you can see this side is only with degreaser and this hose like this with this pressure and a brush a soft brush now with this like this i'm going to put uh, i'm going to do it with a pressure washer pressure washer sorry and then i'm going to let it dry and then apply the undercoat so the rears are different i'm going to do first the pressure washer but i'm going to show you that after i'm done with the front part of the car so yes i'm going to do the other side now so now with a degreaser like this a normal degreaser then with a soft brush like this and then with normal pressure and you can see the change I just do the same in here you can see then after this I'm going to do it with a pressure washer so I know that I said that I will do it with a pressure washer in here but I think it's not necessary you can see it's all clean so now I'm going to mask everything that I don't want paint on it and I will begin to paint so I have everything masked in this side as you can see everything is masked I know that I tell you that it's not necessary to take out the strut but if you want you can take out the strut as you can see it's we, without the strut you are going to have more room to prep and paint and yes I also tape this in here and yes I will begin to paint so now I'm going to begin to paint I'm going to do two coats first of undercoat uh, giving it two minutes to dry between each coat and then I'm going to do the back So these are the two coats, now I need to let it dry. So this is the result, you can see. Now I'm going to begin in the rear part of the car, in the rear, rear uh, wheel wells. 
So yes, I'm going to prepare everything and then I'm going to paint. So now I'm with the rear of the car. As you can see, here's the before. Now I'm going to do it with a pressure washer and then I'm gonna show you the after. In this one, I'm not gonna take out the strut. I'm gonna leave it like that. So this is the after, after of the pressure washing. Now I'm going to do it with the degreaser and a soft brush and the hose pressure. I think this is an old undercoat. I'm gonna leave it like that. So yes, I'm going to begin to clean. Now this is with the degreaser, you can see. Now I'm gonna leave it to dry and then I'm going to apply, I'm going to apply the undercoat. So I'm done with the rear part of the car, the rear wheel wheels. Now I need to let it dry. So this is how it looks in the front of the car, the front wheel wheels. And this is in the rear. It is still drying but you can see how it's going to turn when it's dry. So I hope you like this video, I hope it was helpful for you, like, share, subscribe and see you on the next video.